that time. It's that time. We're back. We're doing another review here of a brand new limited edition 7-Up soda here. This is 7-Up's Shirley Temple. It's a big one. This is a big one just because it's been on my radar for a little bit ever since I've seen, I like, I saw this beautiful can on, on social media and I was like, there we go. There we go. I mean, look at this can design. Um, just that nice flat white seven up here with a little bit of shading on the seven right there. Uh, but nice and white, nice and clean, crisp. Um, this kind of really subtle off pink color on the can and uh this you know the, the gift wrapping on the spot right there is kind of the the cherry on top so to speak but um yeah they're kind of like marketing this as as a, a holiday beverage um i don't know if shirley temple like traditionally is holiday you know that's kind of not what i associate it with but like you know, when you make the can look this good, you know, they're kind of selling me on it. But yeah, if you look at the marketing, they got it in the fucking, you know, they got it in the fucking glass with like the the white and uh, red straw. Like, ooh, fucking, it's cold out there, you know, it's almost Christmas. Fucking crack open a new 7-Up Shirley Temple. Um, but yeah, this is a big one just because, you know, Shirley Temple is fucking... It's good. Like, when you get that shit at a restaurant, it always fucking hits. And, um, you know, you, you've never had it like this in a can. Like, I can only think of one other uh, time I've had it, like, as a prepackaged product. And uh, it was so fucking bad. It's that Boylan's uh, fucking glass bottle. And it was so fucking bad. Like, this was 10 years ago, and I still fucking remember this shit. Like, it was fucking awful. Um, it tasted nothing like a fucking Shirley Temple. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm hoping for with this shit is if you can get the fucking restaurant quality Shirley Temple, like in a can, you know, like this is going to be a fucking winner. And, you know, this is limited edition. So if it's really like as good as it could be, I mean, this might be a load the fuck up situation. Like go out now, like we're talking pallets, you're buying pallets of this shit because, you know, you never know if they're going to bring it back or not. Like, fucking Coke Starlight. Like, I wish I'd fucking grabbed hella pallets of that shit. Because that was good. And I'm down to, like, two cans of that. And I doubt they're ever coming back with that. Because it was kind of such, like, a wacky-ass product. But, um, I'm just going to get out up front, out of the way. Like, I'm really not expecting this to, to hit, um, what I, like, what I want, you know. Like, there's no fucking way that it's gonna be just like the restaurant Shirley Temple, like the, the cocktail Shirley Temple, you know? There's gonna be some compromises, there's gonna be some some changes here, and um, you know, we're just gonna have to fucking see. It says pomegranate and cherry soda. Um, so I'm glad it's not just cherry, this is not just cherry 7-Up, you know, cause that would have been easy. It's got the pomegranate too, which is supposed to match up with what grenadine actually is, and um, you know, the reason I'm holding this is because, you know, we're not just going to fucking review the soda blind, you know. We got to make a fucking Shirley Temple to compare it to. You know, we need a baseline. So let's get this shit going. Let's, let's, um, let's get this going. I got to flip the camera. I don't know if you can fucking mid video, whatever. We'll just do it like this. We'll just do it like this. Um, so I think a lot of people make their Shirley Temples with fucking ginger ale um i guess that's that's like the purest way if you look at reddit like oh fucking got fucking ginger ale in there you know um you know we're not doing that shit we're doing fucking lemon lime just because you know it's a seven up review so there's got to be some integrity here like we can't we got to compare fucking you know <laughs> we got to have some integrity you know what i'm fucking saying like we can't just be dicking around here so we got to make sure we're doing the correct comparison. So just pour that shit in the cup. Look at that. That's fucking beautiful. Like that looks really good. And uh, you know, let me get a stir for this shit. That's a lot of fizz on that motherfucker. Might take a, cu a couple minutes here to get the to get the portions right, you know? I'm not really used to making these. This is one of those things where you go to the restaurant and they just fucking give it to you. 
and it hits, you know? So, might be a minute here, but yeah, let's, let's mix this shit up. Let, let me get what a proper Shirley Temple should taste like on the palate before I go into the new one here. Um, you know, what big three things I'm hoping for this thing, you know, of course you got the arrival, you know, first impressions could be fucking big. Is this thing going to hit the tongue and you could be like, yep, that's it, you know, and then the mouthfeel is going to be big. I don't know if a prepackaged fucking soda like this is going to be able to compare to the mouthfeel of like kind of like a cocktail almost like this shit because I'm I'm pouring the syrup like straight in. So I'm expecting this to have more of a rich mouthfeel. So if this doesn't nail the mouthfeel, it's not the fucking end of the world, but would be nice. And then, you know, the finish is, is also important. You know, you want it to go down. You want it to be consistent throughout. So, um, yeah, let's let's get the baseline here first. Let's get this fucking baseline. Oh my God. You know, that's fucking incredible. That shit hits so fucking good. Every time I think of Shirley Temple, you know, I, I feel like everyone's got a fucking Shirley Temple uh, memory. Just getting that shit as a kid as a restaurant. You know, for me, it was fucking, it's called the Old Spaghetti Factory. Fucking, you know, that's like the first restaurant I think of when I think of like good atmosphere in a restaurant. Like as a fucking kid, there was like a train in the restaurant and had the fucking fancy ass chandeliers and shit. Like that place was fire. And the Shirley Temples there were like, fucking amazing you know that's probably the first time i ever had one and it's still fucking amazing it still tastes so good all right yeah i got a good idea of what 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 i want so let's get this shit going we're gonna pour it in the cup too just because you know I, I want a pretty even uh comparison yeah, you want, you want the aroma to be flowing in, you know? You don't want to just be sipping it from the can. All right, look, pretty dark uh, bubbles here. The head is, is pretty pink. Pretty fizzy. Kind of thin on the nose. Yeah, let's get a color comp here. I'll put the spoon so I know which one is which. So here's the OG... Here's the new 7-Up product. Um, you know, maybe because it's the portions I use, this one's a lot darker. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of a little, you know, it's a little weak on the color. I'm not going to lie. It's a little pinkish. I would have liked a deeper red. Um, get on the nose. So, I mean, there's not a lot going on in the nose. I'm going to be fucking honest. Um... We just gotta go straight into the, the the taste test here. So let's let's give this a shot. This is big. It's not even fucking close. It's not even fucking close. That's nothing. This shit does. Oh fuck. This shit does not taste like anything. Thin fucking mouthfeel. You want to talk about a fucking arrival? There's no arrival. It never fucking arrives. So it's just kind of like watery. Let me drink it out of the can just so I'm not fucking crazy. Hmm. That's a little bit better out of the can. I'm not going to lie. Out of the can, I think it does hit some of the notes that you would look for. Kind of, again, pretty weak fucking arrival. Like, that shit does not fucking, you know, state its uh, its arrival. It does not fucking, it does not slam the door open, you know? It just kind of sneaks in at night pretty quietly. Just kind of, hey, how's it going, you know? It's not like, hey, what's up? What's good? You know, so... Pretty weak arrival, but once, you know, you get it in your mouth, you swirl, around, uh, swirl it around a little bit, you're like, all right, that's, you know, that's Shirley Temple. Like, that's like a really weak, like, you know, maybe someone poured a little too much fucking 7-Up in it, but, you know, it, it reminds me of a Shirley Temple, you know? Um, I gotta try this shit again, because out of the cup, it's fucking, like, embarrassing almost. Ooh. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe it's the ice. That just tastes like water. Um, let me go back to the big boy here. Mm. My God. It's just like, it's night and day. I mean, that's not even fucking close. Yeah, thin, carbonated, fucking it, watery, like, you know, a good approximation out of the can, but there, you know, there's that note in the Shirley Temple when you sip it and you get that note and it's like, oh, there it is. It's not really in here. Uh, you can kind of manufacture it if you really put your mind to it. You can kind of... Uh, manifest it almost uh pouring it out of a fucking cup like they mark it with that silly ass fucking red and white candy land fucking candy cane straw um no you're not gonna get that shit at all it is not gonna fucking take you back you know so kind of a disappointment the can look uh still looks really good though you gotta give them that i mean they nailed the they they nailed the marketing on this one um you know, the can just looks so delicious. And I'm probably still going to finish the case and enjoy it just because, like, holding this can is, like, it feels special. You know, you're like, all right, I'm 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 drinking a fucking pretty unique soda here. So that's cool. But um, we'll give a last sip here and give some final thoughts. You know, again, if you keep it in the mouth, if you keep it on the tongue and really swirl it around a little bit and kind of focus in on that key Shirley Temple note, you can kind of get it. It's kind of there. And that's what's so frustrating is that you almost have to make the experience on your own. Um, I mean, that's you. I don't even have to. I don't even have to think. That's just right there. I mean, that's that one is fucking amazing. This one, again, I, I think a lot of people will not be disappointed because if you just drink this on its own, it probably is really fucking solid. I think the fact that I have a back and forth right now is really coloring my perception of it. But um, yeah, fucking a bit of a disappointment, but I think they did like a pretty decent job given what I was expecting. Um, I wasn't expecting it to blow me away. So the fact that you can kind of get it is is a positive. Um, you know, and while I got the video going, I might as well give a fucking little bonus of review here on this shit I had the other day. Uh, it's this Haunted Apple um, Fanta here with the motherfucking Beetlejuice guy on it. Again, great packaging, but fucking terrible. Like, this shit was... I mean, it's supposed to be like a spiced apple. I'm not even gonna fucking sip it right now because it's just, like, so disappointing. But yeah, you see, like, I didn't even finish it. And you can tell, like, you know, if it's, like, a horrendous, like, you know, maybe you spit it out, I guess. But you can tell I kind of really tried to give it a shot. But, I, I mean, I, I tapped, like, right here, you know? Like, I couldn't even fucking get the rest of it down. And, you, and you know, like, when you're this far down it's like you might as well just fucking finish it but no like this this was not worth the time uh having said that i'm still gonna put it back in the fucking fridge and maybe save it for later but um yeah uh seven up shirley temple pretty good uh maybe a good mixer but if you're gonna make a fucking cocktail you might as well just bust out the grenadine you know um yeah happy fucking holidays